Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today is the final video for uh, how to map geographical lo locations in Power BI. And uh, what we're going to go through today is how to use Google Maps, uh, the Google Maps API, to map geographical locations when you don't have latitude and longitude available in your data set. So let's begin. So here we are in Power BI and uh, what we're going to do is to find out how to use Google Maps API to map locations when latitude and longitude is not available. The data set I have downloaded is in here. It is uh, regions of Asturias. Asturias is a region in Spain. And uh, I just downloaded the name of the communities in there. So this is quite a tough uh, test for uh, Google Maps to do. I downloaded these from here in Wikipedia. So I'm just doing a web import and just put it in this data into Power BI. So as you can see in here, the only thing we have is a numbering for the region. And then we have the name of the city in Spanish, the name of the city in Bable, that is our local uh, language. And then uh, how many people live in there. So um, the first thing I think we should do is to see, okay, if I put the name and I click on map, how is Power BI going to manage? Let's see. We don't want it as a legend, we want it as a location. So as you can see, Power BI is not doing a very good job. Uh, Asturias is actually here in the north of Spain. It map quite a few right, like most of them, but then see what happens. It has Nava in there, and then we have here, what do we have? Caso, Salas, Grado, no. Oh. Janera in the Philippines. That's amazing. Okay. Um, well, this is not a correct mapping for Asturias regions. Most of them are correct, but most of them is not good enough, especially when you're delivering reports. So what do we do? We don't have any latitude and longitude. And I promise you, it's not at all easy to find latitude and longitude online. You will have to do it manually. And Perhaps 70 is not that many, but still, it, it would be a waste of time. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Google Maps API. So let's go back to Edit Query. And I have created a function. You will be able to get this function, don't worry. And to be able to use Google Maps API, you need an API key. It's not at all difficult to find, and I will post a link to how to create that key. It's really not difficult at all. And uh, then you will be able to use my function. But what we're going to do is we're going to test Google Maps API. How well does it work? And the way that I define the function is quite rough. I said, OK. I'm going to just give you an address and you are going to give me back a, um, a location. So you can do better refinements. I'm just testing it like hardcore to see how good Google Maps API actually is. So here we have our data set as to regions and um, I'm just going to test Google Maps API, giving it the name of the region, nothing else. So it's going to get just that column. To do that, we go here to add column, invoke custom function, Google Maps API, and then it's just going to get that name in Spanish, nothing else. Click OK. And it gives us a result. 
no errors as you can see so that is quite good it's found a location everywhere and now as you can see is giving us the address that Google Maps thinks is the correct one and for the most part without so little information it did a pretty good job but you can see here that there is in France Ayer and another one in the UK so he's given it twice it also finds in the US a bowl who knew that? I <laughs> have no idea. And here's in the US another one, Caravia. Seriously, I have no idea. In the Czech Republic, there is another one. Well, and this is not really correct, right? So let's go back up. And we're going to help Google Analytics a little bit more because we have actually more information than that. We're going to create a custom column. And what we're going to do here, let's call it location. And we're going to concatenate the name of the region together with the province and the country. So Asturias, Spain. To just to help Google Maps a little bit more. So now we have a little bit more information. Let's invoke the Google API on that column, on the one that has the uh, location, the, the district, the region, and the country. And let's see what Google Maps delivers. Okay, so now again, Google found something, no errors. So we do the exact same thing. We don't need to do that. We already have it there. We expand and now found everything in Asturias, Spain. So it actually is giving us the latitude and longitude of these exact locations. We had 78 and we still have 78, so it found the perfect match. Uh, let's uh, change this to the correct format. So this should be text. And as I explained you in a previous video on how to map locations correctly when Bing is placing them in the wrong place. Latitude and longitude have to be a decimal. Okay, so if you don't know why, check out that video. I will have a, a link in the description box. So let's close and apply. And now if you remember from the previous video, we have to tag um, the latitude as latitude and the longitude as longitude. Okay. Okay, so now we have the latitude and longitude. If you remember from the previous video, latitude and longitude do not work when you have a location in there. So you have to put latitude and longitude along. And as we said on the previous video, it's a little bit, I mean, it's a pity because this doesn't say the user anything. So if you don't have a lot of data points, you can actually put the name in the legend and remove. Uh, as I said on the previous video, I think it's just a little bit disturbing with all the colors. I don't like it that much. But uh it uh, actually works so that's quite nice um if you want to have the name up there remember that you can do that by putting the name in there and then letting this be the average and most of the times it works and you can actually see 
the names together with the latitude and longitude. Okay, so remember, if you don't have latitude and longitude and Power BI is mapping things incorrectly, you can use the Google Maps API to help you find the right location and map it correctly in your Power BI report. Now, finally, if you have questions about the Google Maps API, make sure you post them here at Stack Overflow. You will get fast answers. You will get very good answers because there are developers here. Even Google Teams, if I understand well, are, are um, here answering questions. So make sure you come here and answer and they will do a better job than, than I would do. If you have power by questions, just shoot them. I, I will do my best to answer them. Okay, so this is all for today. If you have uh, any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know in the comment box. If you like this video, please uh, like it, share it and subscribe. Have a fantastic evening. Bye.